Not all switches are created equal. In a home environment, we may have a simple switch with just ports and power. We plug in the cables and it just does its job. Nothing to configure, it just works with layer two switching. In a corporate environment, we're gonna have a lot more features on a more expensive switch. Features like VLANs and additional security. So in this nugget, I'd like to share with you some of those additional options that we might have on commercial grade switches in our environments. So one of the options on a higher end switch in a commercial environment is that it can be managed, meaning we can only connect to it to manage it. We also have features that we can tweak and tune. So on these switches, one of the questions might be is, well, on a switch, we have a console port. Let's start with that. So initially you buy the switch, you can connect via a console port, a serial port, and do the initial configuration. But once it's in the network, how do we remotely connect to it to work with it? And to facilitate that, on a managed switch, we can go ahead and configure an IP address on the switch for the purposes of management. So we can give it an IP address. In fact, let's get this switch, the IP address of 10.1.0.100 with this mask, which means that the first three numbers here are the network and the last number is the actual IP address of the host on that network for the switch for management. And also, if we're gonna be connecting to this switch to manage it and we're coming in from a remote network, this switch is also going to need a default gateway. So we'll also configure a default gateway to be, and I'll put this in red, 10.1.0.1, which is router one's IP address on that local network. And that way the switch, if it ever needs to, respond back to an administrator who's not on the local subnet, it can use its default gateway to do it. So to configure an enterprise or a corporate switch for management, it's gonna depend a little bit based on the vendor, whether it's HP or Juniper or Cisco. In this demonstration, it's a Cisco switch. And here on a Cisco switch, what we can do is we can associate a management IP address with a logical interface on this switch regarding its VLANs. So if we're using VLAN one to communicate and work with this switch, we can assign a logical IP address like 10.1.0.100 with a logical VLAN one interface on the switch and poof, that's how we give this switch an IP address that it can use so we can connect to it to manage it. So to do that, we're gonna go into interface VLAN one and then in this logical interface VLAN one, we'll just give it the IP address that we planned on, which is 10.1.0.100 and we'll give it the mask of 255.255.255.0 and press enter and poof, we have a logical IP address that we can use to manage this switch. Now, the other challenge is if we happen to be remotely connecting to this switch from a different network, the switch is also gonna need a default gateway it can use to send reply packets back to the administrator. So to configure a default gateway, we'll use the command IP space default dash gateway, and then the default gateway's IP address, which is 10.1.0.1, we'll press enter, we'll type in end, and if we do a show IP route, on this layer two switch and press enter. I can see that it has the, <laughs> I can see it has the default gateway set up, but I did a typo on the IP address. I wanted to use dot 100, not dot 11. So let me go ahead and correct that. Back into configuration mode he goes, back into interface VLAN one. I use the up arrow key a few times and I'll simply swap out that one one with 100 and press enter. Awesome. So now on this switch, it can be remotely managed by an administrator connecting to that IP address on the allowed protocols. In this nugget, we identified that a managed switch has features and functions that we can configure and tune, but if we can't access the switch to do it, it's a problem. So we set up a logical IP address on the switch that we can then use for remotely connecting to that switch for management purposes. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe right here to get the latest information from CBT Nuggets. And if you're new to or considering a career in the world of IT, head on over to CBT Nuggets and sign up for a free trial.